<sighs> I've been farting around and farting around and farting around trying to get these dolls back together, twin A and twin B. I had them together. I took them apart. I wanted to put another matte, ultra matte varnish on there <sighs> to get rid of some of the shine, hopefully a lot of the shine, and now putting them back together. Uh, uh, uh. I do not want to cut into the um the the ties because i cannot seem to find really thin ties around here they're thick so i do not want to cut into them but my finger i don't know if you can see my thumb is so sore i've taken out um excess because i usually stuff my babies quite well i've taken out excess um polyfill to try to give me more squeeze room to kind of squeeze the limb together and squeeze it inside there and uh, i'm getting so frustrated so i'll tell you what i think i'm giving up for tonight and i'm gonna go have a tea and I'll watch a little tv or videos here's my two babies these two babies, they still look shiny. Frag. Anyway, oh, oh, these two babies are going to be for sale. These are going to be available for adoption. These are replica kits that I painted. And so, <sighs> when I get them together tomorrow, and if I'm still frustrated and finding, trying to get those limbs back in there excuse me then i'm gonna remove the things and put thicker ones in there which i don't want to do i'm looking around to see if i if i thought i bought smaller ones but then i turned out they're not being smaller anyway i really really want to find something aren't they cute they're such cute little preemies these little ones, I didn't root eyelashes and I didn't do hair. I painted a little bit, not painted. I penciled a little bit of hair on this one. But I'm not sure if I'm going to sell them separate or together. Or I guess it doesn't matter. You know, I sell them together, a little bit of a deal, separate, a little bit. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to put them on there. And, uh, and uh, that's what I'm going to do, so... Think about me, because tomorrow morning, this is what I'm doing. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday. I went to bed last night. Look, still got my pajamas on. Didn't get dressed yet. I love PJs. I love them. I'd wear them all day and all night. And more, and they're so decorative. You can get some really neat pajamas. Anywho. I am here to participate in Thursday um, in Love with Reborns, um, Dress Up Thursday, which this Dress Up Thursday, I believe, is, today's Thursday, <laughs> I got it on the right day, yay! Um, uh, um, I believe Dress Up Thursday is Dress Your Baby in season, like whatever they would wear in season with their coats and everything that they would wear in season depending on where you live so i'm going to do a little twist on that well should i yeah i was going to dress them in season plus the way i dress my first child which is the poor child sweat and sweat because i covered her and covered her as a new mom i was so worried about her getting cold so i over bun over bundled her I don't think I'll do that. I was, but I don't think I'm going to dress um, the babies in season. I'm going to dress my twin A, twin B. Don't have names for them. Um, and so, yeah, so let's go. Oh, before, yeah, last night, the beginning of this video, I spoke about frustration trying to put twin a and twin b back together because i was frustrated i was trying to get them in my fingers were sore i didn't want to switch out the um the ties zip ties um but i did i did anyway i found a smaller one than i had but it's really small 
but uh, it works and they're in there. So my morning didn't go bad at all. I started freaking around with it and then I said, Frig this. I'm not doing this. Why am I going to continue to do this? So let's go change some babies. Okay, guys, here's twin A and twin B. Let's get some diapers on. And we'll speed through this. Okay, now we need some onesies. And on a really cold day, I would definitely be wearing long sleeve onesies most definitely the thicker that i had the better and there he is so he's all dressed and she's all dressed or both girls or both boys whatever now i would put socks on and then sleepers. When my daughter was small, for sure, I'd dress. Well, I think even my son, I would have done that. The reason why with my daughter, I didn't have a vehicle. So I walked everywhere. So I always bundled her up super warm. So let's just put really warm sleepers on. These are not a Pacific sex sleeper. They're just whoever, whatever. We're dressing babies. This little sleeper fits a lot better. Oh, pff, gosh. I can't tell because I got the thing up so high. I can't tell how it's seen. But this little um, sleeper slash coat fits a lot better. Some people would use it as a coat. Me, myself, when, the cold, when it's really cold, I would use this as a, um, as a sleeper. This one has no socks. We need some socks on this baby. And of course, you're going to put the socks up and inside like that. Because the warmer, the better. You want to keep the warmth thin. Sweater coats, super important. Now, I do not believe people dress their babies like I would have and did when I had my children because, first of all, when winter came, it stayed. <laughs> it's different. It seems to have warm days and cold days now. That has, do I have little buttons? Yeah. Um, and also... I was a really, really nervous mother, so I overdressed my children, which is probably worse for them, but I did. <laughs> so where's the sweater coat for him? One second. Okay, so I'm going to put a hat. Her. Now, of course, these are not, this is how I would dress, but these are not the right fitting hats. <laughs> this actually came with a sweater and some booties that I probably would have utilized, but I'm not this time. I also would have had a better hat for this fella because he's going to get lost in this hat. But I do not have... A little um, preemie hat. So we'll put this hat on and his hood on. I would have dressed him something like this with a different type of hat. And then if this is a sleeper, it's more like a sleeper jacket, but I definitely would put a sweater on top of that. <laughs> oh my gosh, it did take a while to get babies ready. My babies anyway. I mean, I'm talking about going in a, in a stroller 
and I had the big leg strollers in the 90s um, to push because I didn't have a car and I really bundled, bundled, bundled. And there was a time I lived in Calgary with the temperature there. I went from so cold, so cold to, um, then you'd have like a, I don't even know what the days they call them. They call them a certain day where it got warm. It was really strange. But, so here's my bundled darlings. And then I would make sure they had mittens, to which I don't really have mittens, or I'd put socks on their fingers. I would put socks on. And then I would get them in their snowsuits. Oh. So this snowsuit lasted for a little while with my daughter. Um, because when I first had her, she just barely fit in there. Um, and even though it was big, I still put it on her. No, I would take her like this. And then I would put her in the stroller and probably put a blanket over there. A two blankets probably just drifted over the shoulder and then I would continue to peek to make sure she was okay and I would bundle her up just like that. My son, I had a car then so I didn't really need to bundle him up so much. So with him I wouldn't have probably um I wouldn't have probably had as many layers of clothes because I had a vehicle. Then. So it'd be just a matter of running out to the vehicle and putting them in. Now, then you could leave your babies in their car seat. I would have mittens on him, of course, besides these ones, but I would have mittens on in here. You would leave your babies in their car seats with their snowsuits on. Um... And now it's changed, but I can understand because it's so hard to get the snowsuit in there and to be so bundled up so I can see why it wouldn't fit quite right. But definitely would have them bundled up as much as I could. There's a button there. I'm not going to do it for this video. Should be all bundled up. And uh, once again, I would have... Um, I wouldn't have a blanket on him, just probably going from the house, the car seat, carrying him out and buckling him in. Then the blanket would come off with Sophia. I would have her in the stroller with a blanket, another blanket that just kind of draped over. I'd probably have a blanket tucked around her like this that didn't cover her face, depending on how cold it was, and then I would go off. And she would sleep, and she'd be so warm, I would still say to my mother or I would still be concerned. Do you think she's going to be warm enough? Do you think she's going to be warm enough? Because I was very, very worried about her and we lived in a really old house and the heat was not the greatest. Um, and uh, so I moved her into the living room of my bed into the living room because it was an old, old house and the heat seemed to be the best and the most efficient in the large living room. So she was in there. And sometimes, because we never regulated the heat on our side, it was regulated on the other half of the duplex in the old building. It wasn't as warm as I thought it should be. And I would put her to bed sometimes, bundled up beside me because I slept with her. And I'd have a hood, hat on her and stuff. And I'd always be checking because I didn't want her to be too cold. You know, in old houses, the heat would come on. And then just as long as the heat would be on, it would disappear, right? That's what happens in old houses, not insulated well. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed <laughs> that little video. Um, and twin A and twin B. I am actually going to be making a sale video for them. 
these babies I will be um, adopting out. So that that video will be coming soon. All right, guys, have a great day. It's Thursday. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.